flower folks welcome to share inspirations in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all of my plant damage as well as the new upcomings of my cutting garden this is after first frost so let's get started of course we have our zinnias and dahlias that are all sorts of looking sad as you can see normally my first frost happens around 8th or 9th of November however this year it came early and it took out my my uh, tender annuals on the 31st of October um, the temperatures dropped till 27 degrees for three nights in a row so um, the the first night the damage wasn't so much but the second and third night certainly because it started at midnight so as you can see here these are getting ready to be yanked up these are all of the zinnias my california giant zinnias back here is my optical illusion dahlia and as you can see back here there's the virginia that doesn't seem to be affected whatsoever the hollyhocks are starting to look sad um, they just need some fall care of taking out some of the dead leaves and some fertilizer of tea and coffee and they'll be good to go all of the perennials will bounce back from this i am in southern california high desert zone 8b temperatures for me don't normally go in the teens um it it would um, get that cold in February one week. That's the only reason why I'm considered zone 8B. Otherwise, I would be zone 9A. I'm right on the borderline. Right here is the rose, the bare root rose. Um, it's still looking okay, but it does, it does seem to have taken a little bit of damage. And all of the perennials, the reason why I'm sharing this video is that all of the perennials are going to bounce right back the dahlias are i leave in the ground they, you don't need to do anything with them if you are in cooler area certainly pull them up but zone eight and beyond you can just certainly leave them in and they will come right back i've had these in the ground for the last four years and they've been coming back um, faithfully every year right here all this green that you see is my ranunculus the um, corms i don't lift they just come back on their own this is their third year coming back um, once i clean up all of this um, xenia mess and the um, dahlia um, they will continue to thrive so this is a very good example of succession planting meaning that something is all constantly going to be coming up that room this room right here is not going to be just um, dead with nothing in it something is always planted I have some jasmine right here these are going to go on my pergola which is going to get built here in um, the next month or so and I will be training them up there something that is really awesome and neat that I wanted to share is um, can uh, calla lilies right here is the calla lily that I planted this year February and this plant is a white flowering one. Um, it does great here. In the heat of the summer, even though it's planted in full shade, I was afraid that it was dead and not coming back. As soon as the weather cooled up in around September, late September, it showed up. Same thing with the um, hellbores right there. They completely died down to the ground and they are back up as you can see. So even though it is first frost, not all is lost. They, the uh, spring flowering, late winter spring flowering perennials are continuing on. This is my ornamental kale this is its second year i did not yank it up just to see what would happen it is scattered it flowered and scattered its seeds everywhere so we'll see what that does this one is a where'd it go right here and right there it's the false speria not the estelby variety but um it thrives in the cool weather the frost seems to have taken it out but it will bounce right back Right here is my anemone and the frost did a little bit of damage to it but not nothing that it can't bounce back on and I provided no frost protection or nothing like that. If you are in um, zone 6 and 7 you may feel that you need to provide a frost cloth or just grow them in hope, um, tunnels, low tunnels. That works great also. Right here I have 
garlic. Garlic is a cool weather vegetable that I have planted. Most of my garden is of course a cutting garden, but I do have garlics and potatoes this year. I also planted direct sowed larkspur and I put it down on the 2nd of October. And as you can see, there are a ton of them coming up, not bothered by the frost whatsoever. This used to be the orange um, Mexican sunflower, the tithonia, and it is all gone. I will be yanking this up and planting something else there. Right here, all of these little guys are poppies, different varieties of poppies. Back here, something interesting happened. The the, Z, uh, the dahlia, this particular variety, took out, it was taken out by frost. However, if you notice that there's that little baby one right there, and that seems to have survived without any protection. Um, I th I'm thinking what it is, is the mature plants are taken out and the small ones stay because I've noticed that for here, for me, dahlias seem to come up in February and there's still frost until first week of April sometimes. Um, and they continue to stay without any protection. So I think that's what's happened here in this particular scenario. So I'm kind of excited to see what it would do in the um, upcoming months. Would it continue to grow? Um, I may provide it a little bit of protection to see if I would have Christmas blooms perhaps or January blooms. That would be interesting. Back here I have some snowdrops. I have one, two, three, four plants of snowdrops. And then of course I have the iris back here some more of the um, garlic that I've sown. I have phlox here. This phlox actually completely went down to the ground and it re-emerged once it cooled off. The um, roses, of course, seem to take a little bit of damage and that's okay. They will bounce right back. Same thing with this other rose variety. This is the uh, pink and white one. Right here is the Bright Lights Cosmos. They're all gone, that would need to be yanked up. This is a pink, uh, my purple rose bush that will bounce right back. Um, if you see close up, the leaves are still green, so it'll continue to grow. And of course the dead leaves, I will prune. The iris seem to be untouched without any problems. Those two back there that you see are Louisiana iris and then all the other ones are just regular bearded irises. Um, back here, I had a ton of um, Cosmos that are gone, and I also had li um, Calla lily plants that don't like the frost. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, all of them are gone. And there was one other one right here that's also gone. Um, that's okay, I will uh, take them cut them down to the ground and they will come right back. Right here is my yarrow. As you can see, this is not uh, not bothered by the frost whatsoever. I have three different colors here. I have yellow, I have hot pink back there, and on this side, I have red. And right here is my Maximilian sunflower. They seem to be doing just fine, no problem. They produced a ton for me. Um, I actually made a video on how to pinch these. And after pinching, they produced a lot. So hoping that they would multiply for next season and continue on. This is my orange rose bush right here. Here I planted some queen. Um, queen of the Prairie, um, this, this, the leaves seem to be a little bit damaged, but I think that they will bounce back and continue on. They're not completely done down to the ground. And as I said earlier, I am zone 8B, 9A borderline. Last year I was 9A because it, the weather never really went down to teens. This year we'll see how it goes. Right here is my salvia that I would probably cut down to the ground. Same thing with hollyhocks, dead leaves will be cleaned up and they will bounce right back. Something to note here in the cutting garden is whenever you're growing and frost hits, do not get discouraged like um, a new gardener. As a new gardener, I used to get very discouraged thinking, oh my God, my garden is dead. That's not the case. It comes right back. Um, next year, you will have it, a flourishing garden, no problem. Right here is my green-eyed coneflower. Seems to have taken a little bit of damage, but um, still green, still going, and there is no frost protected for uh, predicted for the next month or so. Um, here are my 
more of the um, irises, another rose. Then I have the winter, winter jasmine back here that seems to be doing okay. Some hollyhock seeds that are volunteers, some more, um, some more irises. Um, right there, the yellow sticky thingies, they are the tube roses that are done for the season. They never flowered for me this year because I think I planted them a little too late. So maybe next year, come free. Um, and back here I have the uh, foxglove. Seems to have taken some damage on the outer leaves, but I'm not going to clean this up just in case there's another frost in the next month or so, um, the damaged leaves will protect that kind of, that plant. Um, right here is my chrysanthemum. Sadly, right before the flowers bloomed, fl uh, frost took it out. So maybe next year I'll provide it a little cover so I can actually harvest. So now I will just cut it down and wait for it next year. It is a very quick grower for me. Um, bird of paradise the white variety i'm not sure if it's going to bounce back or not since it's not hardy in zone eight but like i said it might i have some karma dahlias oh stuff flying around um karma dahlias right here they will be left in the ground and i will just cut it to the ground right here is my um cosmos some more zinnias. Something else that I wanted to note here is the um, Dutch irises are up. All these green things that you see, they're all up. Also, some of the um, daffodils are up too. So right here, it gets super windy here. So there's all sorts of stuff flying around. So I pick up as I go. Um, some more of the Queen's Anne's Lace. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Queen of the Prairie. Um, Queen of the Prairie and we'll see how how it bounces back or whatnot um this all will need to be yanked up this was calendula and um red uh, black eyed susan then i have the sweet williams down there more sweet williams um the american beauty berry seemed to have taken out taken itself um a crap i don't know how long it's going to be before it comes back up again um, it is a very, very slow grower for me. I planted it this January and it took six, seven months just for it to show any kind of growth. So we'll see how, how that works out. Right here is the center garden. Some more of the um, irises. Now, the microclimate here seems to be a little bit different. So the zinnias here <laughs> seem to have survived, crazy as it is. So. We'll see how, how long this would go. This is a primrose right here. The lilies back there are gone. Um, this is a geranium that seems to have taken a little bit of damage but continues on. The green onions um, right next to it is catmint. Seems to be showing new growth. Right there is the gardenia. And right there is my um, gerbera daisy. Uh, the bee bombs. And then, let's see here, the nasturtiums seem to be doing just mm -hmm. fine. Also, the phlox here seem to be doing great also. Um, the irises right here are doing wonderfully. This is the Queen Anne's Lace that seems to be not affected whatsoever. This is a butterfly bush right here. Seems to have uh, taken a crap, but it will come right back, no problem. Uh, this is a lungwort plant um, thriving in this location. However, this right here is a toad lily. Seems to be um, done for the season and it will come back up next year. I sowed a ton of Queen's Anne's lace here right next to the Dutch iris because once the Dutch iris is done blooming, this area is empty. And I don't like that. So I have something going. This is a wild strawberry plant, um, some sedum right here. Um, some more flocks right there and I had a hydrangea somewhere if I can find it oh right there it's all browned up um, this is my first year with the baby hydrangea so we'll have to see how how they last and what they do and so on and so forth right here is my stargazer lily seems to be not affected by the frost whatsoever however that variety over there the tree lilies 
seem to be gone. So that was the video guys. I hope you enjoyed and I wanted to share this so all of the new gardeners when you first see your first frost that you don't get um, discouraged by the frost and continue on to the next year because next year's garden is going to be just as strong or stronger. I will see you in the next one. Bye!